Hey everyone, Devin here with Backcountry Exposure. We're talking about my absolute favorites, my go-to big three gear items here in 2021. Big three gear items. Let's talk about your backpack first and my go-to backpack, which should come of no surprise, but it's the Waymark Through. Over the years of using various different pieces of uh, backpacking gear and backpacks to hold those pieces of gear, this has become my absolute favorite. Now I'm a little bit biased, I do work for Waymark, and even prior to my employment at Waymark, I'd been carrying this pack, and I love, love the through. It's a fantastic design. It's frameless, uh, so there is that aspect to it, and if you're not familiar with frameless packs or you're nervous or scared about them, don't be. This is sub two pounds in weight, and it carries just as well as a framed pack when you have 30 pounds or less in it. And I absolutely love how comfortable this is. The padded hip belt is very well designed and shaped and it actually does hold on and carry that weight very comfortably. And the construction of it, super burly. It's a fantastic design. I just love the Waymark through. And what I had uh, been carrying prior to the through was the Osprey Levity and prior to that, the Gregory Optic. And uh, between the three packs, this thing is amazing. And I highly, highly recommend checking out the Waymark through. And before we get too far into this video today, I wanna to thank backcountry.com for sponsoring this video. So many great pieces of gear can be found on Backcountry and they've made it really easy to find gear for your particular needs. If you're looking for a shelter, for example, use their filter options on the sidebar to determine the amount of space that you need in the tent, the price, maybe the color, or even the weight. All of those filters are going to allow you to narrow down exactly what you would be looking for. And if you need help additionally, take advantage of a free service that they have. Gearheads, real people that can answer your questions on the backpacking gear items that you are looking for. Those gearheads are accessible all the time and it's a great service that will help you find those pieces of gear. And we're here to save you a little bit of money today. You can save up to 15% on your order. Some exclusions do apply. But use my coupon code BACKCOUNTRYEXPOSURE when you check out and see if you can save yourself a few dollars uh, at checkout. Thank you to backcountry.com for sponsoring today's video. So one of the most important pieces of gear that you have with you is your shelter. Now we're gonna talk about tents today and not any other types of shelter because tents have just become the go-to for me. I have tried to use bivvies. I've tried to use tarps and even hammocks at this point. And you know what? The fail safe is a tent. But when it comes to shelters and all of the different types of shelters that I've used over the years, which ones are my favorite? And right now, the two go-to shelters for me are the Big Agnes Copper Spur and this shelter behind me, the Tarp Tent Double Rainbow Lithium. They serve different purposes. This one is a bit more uh, weight to it, but it also is fully freestanding, has a ton of storage options on the inside of it. I love the Copper Spur. It uh, provides enough room for me and one of my kids or me and a, a second hiker to have space and gear uh, to put in two vestibules, two doors. All those things make this a very comfortable, pretty lightweight shelter for backpacking. Well, one of the absolute favorite pieces of gear that I bought this year is the uh, Tarp Tent Double Rainbow Li. This is a Dyneema shelter that I have just loved every aspect about it minus a few things i wish there was a bit more like storage capacity uh, with pockets and stuff in it but all of that adds weight and a little bit of complexity to a shelter like this this is single wall where the uh, copper spur is double wall so you've got uh, those aspects to compare between the two so they're also different in that way also but i love the uh, weight aspect of the Dyneema really saves a ton, a ton of weight. This is uh, 29 ounces total for everything here. And it's super roomy, but the downside to it is if I want it to be fully freestanding, I've got to bring trekking poles. And I don't always bring trekking poles with me uh, pretty much ever at this point. So if I know that I'm going to be setting up on slick rock and stuff, then I'm likely to bring this tent with me as opposed to the double rainbow because uh, I'm also a little concerned about the uh, durability over time of the 
uh, Dyneema as the floor material, but I take good care of my stuff and I expect this to uh, work just fine for a long period of time. Love the tarp tent double rainbow lithium. So the last thing here on the big three gear list is your sleep system. So it's two items, your sleeping bag or quilt and the pad that you use uh, underneath you to sleep on. Let's talk about sleeping pads first. I have shared recently some of my favorite sleeping pads. I've got blown up here the Nemo Tensor, which is a fantastic sleeping pad. This one is the 20 inch wide regular length, so 20 by 72. It's nice when I'm in like a three person tent. I just went out with my two daughters and we put a three 20 inch wide pads side by side in a three person tent. So I have this for that particular uh, use and it saves weight, it's very comfortable. You can see uh, my comparison videos between the Nemo Tensor, the Etherlite XT from Sea to Summit, and also the Q-Core SLX from Big Agnes. These are my three current go-to favorite sleeping pads. The Nemo for the uh, weight savings and the uh, size that it compacts down to and it, when it's rolled up and everything in your pack, it's got a great three season rating to it. Uh, so I'm gonna get down to freezing temperatures, no problem. And for side sleeping, it does a great job. I'm a side sleeper, but when I really want to up the ante in comfort, I go to the Sea to Summit Etherlite XT. This is probably the most comfortable pad that I've ever slept on. I absolutely love this pad. Minus the squeakiness that you get from the uh, material that it's made out of on a tent floor, this thing, everything else about it is fantastic. And you can see the comparison video that I put together down in a link that I put in the description, but I love this thing. Three season use, 25 inches wide, 72 inches long, super comfortable. And then to just add to it as another option that I've really enjoyed is the Q-Core SLX from Big Agnes. Awesome features to this as well. And I mean, you can see the, the size difference on them. They all have their pros and cons, but within the realm of three season backpacking, each of these fits into that just perfectly. And I love having the uh, ability to choose which one I want to take. The last item that we're talking about today is my three current favorite sleeping bags and quilts. We'll start with quilts first. UGQ Bandit Top Quilt. This thing, man, of all of the quilts that I've used, this still like reigns as my favorite. I have a hammock gear burrow at my home that I have one night in, and we'll see how over time it compares to the UGQ Bandit, but this thing, it's fantastic. You've got this cool dynamic tension control system that really uh, hugs and pulls in and eliminates those draft points on the quilt, and as a, a quilt maker, they truly make a bag here or a quilt that equals the temperature rating that they say that it is. So here I've got a 30 degree quilt. This thing will keep me warm down to 30 degrees, no problem. It's also super lightweight and very, very well made. I absolutely love the UGQ Bandit. It's just a, it's a fantastic product. The bag that I've started using as I've moved into colder temperatures and starting to use a zero degree rated bag is the Sea to Summit Spark. Now this is an expensive sleeping bag. I'm not even going to uh, sugarcoat that this is several, several hundred dollars uh, pushing the $600 uh, price tag. But it's incredibly comfortable and it keeps me warm down to those very, very low temperatures. So when I'm pushing in the, to those uh, four season temperatures, this is the bag that I take. But it provides a small package when it's all packed up and it's just a very nice design. You've got plenty of width through the shoulders. You've got just a nice baffle system that keeps down where it's supposed to be. You've got a zipper that goes all the way down, which I actually enjoy in this case because some sleeping bags, the zipper does not go uh, past like mid torso. It usually stops there. This one goes all the way down so I can really open it up and I can vent and everything with it. It's just a great design and for the price, this is probably one of the better sleeping bags 
that I've ever used. The hood is awesome on it. I just really, really enjoy the Sea to Summit Spark. Now the last bag that we'll talk about is the Thermarest Hyperion. For the summer temperatures, this is a 32 degree uh, rated bag but it's not going to go down to 32 degrees. This is like 45 degrees and above in temperatures, but it is the lightest weight sleeping bag that I have at like 18 or 19 ounces. It's so, so light uh, for a sleeping bag. My quilts, I do have lighter weight quilts, but for a full sleeping bag, this thing is amazing. 900 fill down and they've just put cool features on it. You've got pad straps, 30% of the fill is on the back panel, 70% on the top, so you're really relying on the insulation value of your sleeping pad to help keep yourself warm. I love, <laughs> I just love this bag. It's so, so nice to sleep in, super comfortable, and uh, yeah, it's a great option for all those warm weather uh, trips that you're gonna go on. Well, there you have it. My favorite, my go-to big three gear items for this current uh, backpacking season and seasons uh, coming up. I don't anticipate really switching out too much in my big three gear items uh, here on out. These are things that I've really enjoyed, dialed in a lot, and just find to be amazing products that are worth the investment. And I appreciate you guys watching today. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. And thanks to backcountry.com for sponsoring this video. Again, coupon code uh, to save 15% from them in the description below. Thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you on the next one. See you later.